Welcome to another Linux one-liner of the day. My name is Robert Wolfhardt and my task for today is to build a top 10 list of the IP addresses that send the most requests to a demo web server during a week. Yeah, so the idea is I have a log file, the access log file of a web server and every single line within this log file contains the information about the request, a single request together with the IP address where the request came from. And then I want to build a list, a top 10 list of the IP addresses who hit my web server most. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the whiteboard here. This is again the task, the top 10 IP addresses from the website access log. And every single line, if you are not familiar with the access log of a web server, every single line of the access log contains the details about a single request. Yeah, we have the timestamp, we have the IP address, where the times, uh, <laughs> where the request came from, and then we have the request and information about the request and so on. And we are only interested, or I'm only interested here in the IP addresses. Yeah, and I want to count how many requests came from one single IP address. And at the end, I want to have a top 10 list of the IP addresses with the most requests. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to the console. Here we are. And this is my log file. This is the log file from a demo WordPress system I've installed uh, a few weeks ago. Um, I have never put any content on this WordPress log, so we will only see crawlers, bots hitting this web server. Yeah. So this is the, the access log here. And you see we have first the IP address, then two dash, then the timestamp, and then we have information about the request itself. And we are only interested in these IP addresses and we want to sort them, we want to count them and build a top 10 list. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is to extract the IP addresses. We are only interested in the IP addresses. And we have, or I will show you two approaches here. The first is the most simple one. Um, just because we have the access log layout in this way that the IP address is, is always the first field, the first column within every single line. Yeah. Because of this, we can simply use the cut command for splitting the content and extracting only the first field of every single line. Yeah, just because this simple layout here, we could call cut dash D. We have a delimiter. This is the space. Yeah, just after the IP address, we have a space, and we are only interested in the field number one. Yeah, cut dash D a space dash F a one, and this is the file I want to cut. Yeah, and you see cut really prints out only the IP addresses. This is the first approach and this, this first approach works just because the layout of the access log file is really, really simple. Um, a second approach could be used for um, more complex log files. If you have more complex log files where somewhere on the line is the IP address or the data you are interested in, then you can use the grab command for searching your parts, the data you're interested in. Yeah, you can use grab. Um, first, let's create a regular expression. Yeah, grab searches line wise, grab searches with the help of a regular expression, and grab by default prints out the whole line containing a pattern. Yeah, but you can use grab to print out only the match, matching part of the line. Yeah, so let's try this out. Let's build um, a regular expression matching an IP address. And you see an IP address always consists of numbers and dots. Yeah, so we have first a digit. 
I want to really keep it simple here. Yeah, I don't want to create a really fancy regular expression that matches only IP addresses and all IP addresses. Yeah, I want to keep it really simple here for the purpose of this this video. Yeah, so we have first a digit, a number from zero to nine, and then perhaps another digit from zero to nine and perhaps some more. Yeah, so first a digit, after that a digit, any number of times. Then we have a dot. Yeah, we need to quote the dot, the, uh, therefore backslash dot. This is the first part of the IP address. Then we have the second part of the IP address. Again, one or more digits and a dot. Then again, one or more digits and a dot. And then the last field again, one or more digits, but not the dot. Yeah, and this is a really, really simple regular expression um, where I try to catch the IP addresses. Let's try this out. Let's call grab. And you see, let's terminate it by hitting Control C. You see the colored patterns or the colored parts here are the pattern matches. And you see we have matched an IP address here, but we have matched other number dot combinations too. Yeah. Um, to keep it simple, to keep it really simple here, just to show you how you could use grab for extracting this data. Um, let's say I'm only interested in these numbers if they are at the start of the line. Yeah. So for our example, this is perfectly the way to go. Yeah. So we have all these lines here together with the colored IP address. And now you can use grab not for printing out the whole line, but for printing out only the match, the matching part yeah, the pattern match from every line. You can do this with the dash lowercase o command line switch. Yeah. And now you see only the IP addresses. Yeah. So just for a demonstration, the way we will go with our um, example here with our one liner is the cut command, just because it's a little bit easier to read here. Yeah. But as you see, um, if you are searching for more complex data, yeah, you can use regular expressions to describe this data and you can use grab to extract this data if you use the dash lowercase o command line switch. Yeah. Okay, but let's go here for this example with the cut command. So now we have all the IP addresses. Yeah, and all the, the, these IP addresses are in the order of the request they sent. Yeah. Now let's sort these IP addresses to see duplicates. Yeah, to see uh, that the same IP address requested um, a document multiple times. Yeah, you can sort a data stream really, really simple by piping this data stream to the sort command. Yeah. So by default, the sort command sorts alphabetically, works perfectly with IP addresses. So we see, let's make it a little bit bigger here. Yeah, you see that we have this IP address with only one single line or only one single request. Then we have this IP address here with three requests, this IP address here with five requests and so on. Yeah, so now we have the sorted output. And now we want to count these duplicates. Yeah, you want to count these duplicates. And if you are working with duplicates, um, then you need or you use typically the tool Unic for this. Unic is a tool that by default removes duplicates. This is the main purpose of the unique command to remove duplicates. So if you have data sets and you want to remove the duplicates or you want to just show the duplicates, do I have duplicates within a data within the data sets? Yeah, then you can use unique. Yeah. By default, unique removes all the duplicates. Yeah. So let's verify this. 
simply by counting the sorted output, the sorted IP addresses. We have 3,534 lines here. This is this exactly the same number as the number of lines within the access log file, yeah, just because we extracted one single IP address from every line and then we just sorted them. Yeah. So we have 3,534 lines here. And now if we call unic to remove the duplicates, yeah, please take care that unic needs a sort, a pre-sorted input. Yeah, just because unit reads a single line, remembers the line and then reads in the next line. And only if there is uh, the same line read in again, then Unic sees that there is a duplicate. Yeah? So we need pre-sorted data for the Unic command. And if we again call the lines here, then we have 561 lines left. And we had a total of 3,534 lines. Yeah, just because we have a lot of duplicates within the output. So, but Unic can not only remove duplicates, Unic can show you only the duplicates with an uppercase D. Yeah. So in this way, Unic will show you the duplicates and Unique can count the duplicates. Yeah, if you want to count the duplicates, and we want to count the duplicates, then call Unique with dash lowercase c. And now we see all the duplicates printed out, or all the lines printed out with the number of occurrences. Yeah, so we have this IP address only one single time. This IP address with ten hits. Yeah, this IP address with five hits and so on. Yeah. By the way, if you need more such tools like these that we talk about here, um, have a look at the Shell Toolbox. The Shell Toolbox is a book I have written by request for my clients to give them an overview of all the tools they need for the daily work. Yeah, shelltoolbox.com. You should see in the corner the URL to shelltoolbox.com. There you can get your copy. You can order your copy there if you are interested in. Um, there are around 120 tools within the Shell Toolbox. Every tool there comes with a short explanation, with example calls to illustrate the usage. Yeah. So if you're interested in more such tools like these, um, have a look at the Shell Toolbox. Okay. Back to our task. Now we have all the lines here, all the lines um, containing IP addresses and the number of hits for all these IP addresses. And now we need to sort them. We need to sort them and then we want to pretty print out a top 10 list. Yeah. So let's sort again all these lines via sort. But this time we need to sort numerically, yeah, just because um, the 76 <laughs> is larger than the 8. Yeah. So we need to sort numerically. We can do this by just adding a dash n command line switch to sort. Now we have all our IP addresses um, sorted by the number of occurrences within the log file. Now we are only interested in the top 10. So we are interested in the last 10 lines of this output here. These are the last 10 lines of this output. Now we want to have a pretty printed um, top 10 list. Yeah, pretty print means we want to have the IP address with the most hits um, at the top. Yeah, so we just reverse the output here and yeah, just call tag for reversing the output. And after that, after reversing the output, we wanna we wanna reformat the output a little bit. Yeah, just because 
I want to write first the IP address and then the number of hits that came from this IP address. And if you need this, if you need to reformat the, the lines from a data stream, then the AWK org is the tool to go. Yeah? Just because AWK org reads in every single line and splits the line into columns. Yeah? By default, org splits the line into columns and you have direct access to the columns. Yeah? So you can print out just the column number one via print data one. We have only the number here or we have only the IP address here, column number two. And you can use these variables and these org variables for you know, formatting the output. I want to print out first the IP address, then I want to print out a little arrow, yeah, and then I want to print out the number of hits caused by this IP address. Yeah. And now we see a really nicely <laughs> printed out top 10 list of the IP addresses found within this log file. Yeah. So this is my one liner of the day. And I bet the approaches here to sort the data, to, to count the to count the duplicates, then to sort numerically, then to get only n lines to, to reverse the data stream and then to reformat the output. These approaches can be used um, on many, many or for many, many other tasks. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, yeah, this one liner of the day. If so, please share the video or leave a comment. If you have any questions, then please leave a comment too. Yeah. My name is Robert Wolfhardt. If you are interested in the Shell Toolbox, go to shelltoolbox.com and hopefully see you next time.